Hey there, I am not a native speaker. I will keep on reading now uh, Fluent Forever, how to learn any language fast and never forget it. Even if I... Um, uh, even if I don't agree with some points of this book, um, it's useful. I have to recognize that it's useful. Uh, use the small dictionaries. Lonely planets, uh, phrase books and glossaries uh, at the end of grammar books are great resources because they only contain the most basic words. Uh, a big dictionary may we, uh, give you 10 synonyms of, uh, for house. You only need one right now and you will find it uh, and you will find it easily in your lottery or Facebook so uh, you can ac accomplish uh, these goals uh, for a series of quick games which you will play uh, whenever you learn new words for first uh, we'll show you uh, what your words really mean and the second will connect uh, that meaning to your own life uh, life uh, here fun is serious business if you get bored your mental filters will turn on and all of your precious work will leak out uh, of your ears so take a moment to have fun it's much more efficient to create a deep multisensory memory um, for a word you will need to combine several ingredients spelling sound meaning and personal connection we we'll have discussed uh, spelling and sound um, in the previous chapter uh, and you'll reinforce that uh, knowledge uh, with every word you learn you can look up the spelling of, of each of of the wor of your words uh, in a dictionary or uh, the glossary section or of a grammar book um, and you can usually find pronunciation information in the same place supplemented by recordings at forb.com uh, next uh, comes meaning okay game one the first ever, ever. <laughs> uh, the spot the, the spot the difference the difference is game find the meaning uh, through Google images in the beginning of this chapter, we'll talk about uh, the limitation of translation, how translation strips words uh, of their music. We're going to put your, uh, the music back by playing with um, the greatest illustrated book even written, Google Images. Google Images is uh, Google's uh, search uh, engine uh, for pictures. Uh, you may have used, uh, used it already. Uh, you go to images.google.com, uh, uh, type in, in smiley man with uh, an iguana, and proof. Uh, you have 200,000 images of iguanas and um, a man. Uh, hooray! Hooray! Um, if you were so inclined, uh, you could take uh, these images, pull out a dictionary, and make some flashcards for uh, la iguana, iguana, uh, el hombre, man, and sonreír, to smile. Uh, this is a, a fine use of time, but not uh, extremely interesting. Uh, you can do better by, by searching for your words in your Tarshat language. Hidden beneath uh, Google Images' colorful um, exterior is a pressure trope. Tro Every image uh, comes with a caption, and those captions exist in uh, 130 languages. You can search for some obscure words. Equilage. Uh, French, French for uh, railroad switch, and get um, 160,000 examples of words in context, along with um, s more pictures of railroad witches, 
um, then you know uh, what to do with. It's uh, an effectively uh, unlimited uh, source of tiny illustrated stories about every word you need to learn. Google Images as a storybook. To find stories in Google Images, uh, search for a word and scroll all the way down uh, to the bottom of the page. There you will see a uh, link uh, switch uh, to a basic version, uh, basic ver version. Uh, every image uh, will now show up uh, with its corresponding caption. These images come from websites in your Darshad language, and so they can you uh, can you uh, can tell you precisely how uh, a word is used. Um, the Russian word девушка uh, means girl. Simple enough, but Google Images will t tell you a much more announced and read. Uh, this is read, read story. Um, nearly every девушка uh, on Google Images is a close-up uh, chest shot of. Uh, uh, and 18 years old in a bikini. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we know that. Uh, you look at this and you think, huh? <laughs> and some of, of the boys, uh, I, I mean, the boys in general, they don't think, uh, they think, wow, <laughs> what the hell? Okay. And this, uh, is exactly what we are after. Mm? It's a moment you realize that the Russian words aren't fast, just uh, funny sounding. Uh, English words, they are Russian words, and Russian words uh, were less uh, uh, clothing than, than you may expect, especially given the cool climate. Well, okay, I, I don't get it. Um, these uh, moments get a thread into your brain because they are interesting. Okay. Uh huh. You will store your memories of this game into your flashcards every time you encounter a huh moment. <laughs> you are uh, you have gone through a rich multisensory experience with uh, a new world. You will want your flashcards to bring those experiences back. You will choose uh, one or two images that you found particularly telling, perhaps one of the uh, grandmothers that seems especially her uh, Sherman, and you will uh, put them in your flashcards. If you are drawing your pictures by hand, then you can create a, re a reminder uh, however you choose. I expect a stick figure, uh, well, I don't know. Let's, let's skip. Game two. Uh, the memory game. Okay, well, boosting meaning through personal connection. Images they, by the, themselves are very powerful. Uh, somewhere in your head, uh, you store every image you see. In the process of searching for your images, you create a unique, uh, memorable experience for every word in your vocabulary and your flashcards will serve as reminders of your personal spot the difference game difference game uh, because you you have chosen or drawn uh, your own images you will be able to difference different uh, differentiate difference differentiate uh, within uh, between words uh, with easily conflated uh, images like girl, woman, daughter, mother, granddaughter, and grandmother. Uh -huh. You can make your word memories even more distinct by adding a personal connection. You're playing the memory game. What's your grand grandma's hmm, name? Which a uh, 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 not cat. Um, 
which uh, koshka <laughs> comes to your man mind first you are looking for any memory that you can connect with uh, your new world if you can't find one you have just made your world 50% more memorable even if you can't the process of searching for a memory gives you a major major boost uh, I've tried to find a connection to the, um, the number Harmitjet Ghetto. Mm, I don't know. Uh, 32 in Hungarian. I can't. Uh, it's the worst number ever. <laughs> My god. I don't think I have ever saved uh, 32 in English. Now, whenever I see this word I don't know how to pronounce it my first my first fall, uh, fall is oh that's 32 <laughs> the worst number ever mission accomplished <laughs> my god this, um, okay um, to play the memory game you will spend uh, you will spend uh, a few seconds looking for any memory about your word that comes to mind. Uh, it uh, could be your childhood cat or your friend's t-shirt. Uh, try to keep the, the new word in mind rather than the translation. You'll make some weird uh, English-French hybrid sentence like last time I saw my grandmère uh, was last weekend weekend um, don't worry about the lack of French grammar no one can hear you as you make uh, your flashcards uh, you will uh, write down a little reminder of this memory the city uh, the city um, you were in last weekend weekend uh, the name of the fr of a friend you were you were with uh, and so on. Later, um, when you review your flashcards, you'll play the same game. You see a cat scan your memory for anything that connects, uh, and if you get stumped, uh, you find a helpful reminder on the back of your flashcard. Um, these connections aren't uh, your your main. Um, focus. You want to see a cat, hmm? and, you th and you think about a koshka. Uh, you, uh, but they can make your job easier by making your uh, koshki and uh, grammar, uh, je sais pas, je sais pas, uh, more relevant to your own life and therefore much more memorable. Key points. You can make your words more memorable in two ways by investigating the stories they tell by connecting those stories to your own life cool uh when you create flashcards uh use the best storytelling tool ever invented google images then spend uh, a moment to find the link between each word and your own experiences. Well, that's all for today. Thank you.